Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. Uh, you might have watched my part one video in my Hackintosh build series where I installed a GTX 740 graphics card. Now, a lot of you commented on that video that that graphics card really isn't worth my time, and uh, I'm not sure if I agree or not. Uh, so th the purpose of this video is to benchmark a GTX 970 graphics card, which is what is installed in my Hackintosh at this very moment, versus the GTX 740 graphics card that I installed in that build video. So I'm going to I'm going to swap them out and I'm going to record two benchmarks with with each, you know, card in the machine. I'm curious, like because I thought the same thing that you thought uh, when I when I originally built the machine with the 740, I thought, you know, the first time I did my first export in in Final Cut Pro, I thought crap, this video card sucks. I need, to, I need to get a better one so that I can get faster exports, right? So I started doing some research, and uh, the first thing that I looked at was the Final Cut Pro uh, 10 specs, and it says that you need an OpenCL-capable graphics card, right? You know, four, eight gigabytes of RAM recommended. I've got, I had 16, I've got 32 now, you know, no big deal. We, we meet the criteria there, but they say OpenCL capable graphics card. So looking over here at some benchmarks for various GTX cards on a Mac, uh, it looks like the 740 has the absolute worst OpenCL performance of any card in the list. Uh, the, the 970 performs quite well. And actually, when I run my own Luxmark tests, I get uh, even better performance than this out of the GTX 970. But I get pretty much exactly this, this performance out of the 740. So it's clear that as far as graphics cards go, the 740 is a much lower end, much weaker card than the 970. I'm not arguing that. What I am uh, a little curious about is whether or not it actually matters in, in practical terms while you're editing in Final Cut Pro, because my tests so far have indicated that most of my exports are CPU bound, not GPU bound. Uh, Final Cut Pro really doesn't seem to use the GPU that much for rendering. I will caveat that by saying that uh, for things like transitions, it does use the GPU quite a bit, but I just don't do transitions that often in my work. So um, anyway, so here's, I've got two tests, all right? So I've got the uh, Final Cut Pro X testing suite, and this is, this is what I used in the previous video, which was part two, where I talked about SSD versus uh, magnetic disk performance. So this is that same clip, and this is, this is one of the tests that we're gonna run for the uh, GTX 970 and the GTX uh, 740. The other test is the Bruce X test. Now this, this test is a little different. This one is uh, more geared to test the GPU because it's got just a crap ton of transitions and all kinds of like effects and stuff in here, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and run this one first. And I, again, I've got the GTX 970 installed right now at this moment. And you can, you can see that by looking at the uh, iStat menus, GTX 970 right there. So. Let's see uh, how the performance of the 970 is in the Bruce X test. The Bruce X test seems to run best on uh, an SSD because you want to you want to kind of eliminate like all other bottlenecks when you're running this test. Um, I don't know if running it on a on a magnetic hard drive will actually slow it down that much, but I know that it gets about 20 seconds in my in my previous experience on the SSD. So I'm going to keep it on the SSD. So it is indeed on the El Capitan uh, SSD. We'll run our, our traditional CPU bound test on the SSD as well, just, just for consistency, because I don't, I don't want to manage two libraries while I'm doing this. All right. So I'm going to delete my files here and restart Final Cut Pro. OK. So we're going to share just the regu regular regular uh, HD 1080p compressor setting. Uh, this has not been modified or anything. It's just stock. Next, we want to put it on the desktop. And let me just verify that the desktop does not already have, no, it does not already have a 
file there, so this should work. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to be as quick as possible when I switch over to the timer, but it's gonna be, let me see, can I use the keyboard for that? Yeah, I can. Try using the keyboard for it so that I'm super fast. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Wow, that was really slow. Wow, uh, I am not sure why that was so slow. I'm running a USB microphone. Uh, maybe that has something to do with it. But in my previous tests, I got about 20 seconds with this. So kind of strange, I think. Looks like the memory was kind of kind of maxed out on the GTX 970. I should have probably pulled that up while it was running. I'm not sure why it's so slow, but we'll you know, we're going to treat the, the 740 the same way, so, you know, should get the same kind of performance out of that. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and run this one more time. So this is, this is the one that's based on the CPU mostly. Uh, yesterday when I created the uh, SSD versus hard disk drive uh, benchmark video, I was getting about 6 minute and 34 second run time, so let's just verify that that is still what we're getting. And I got that result regardless of whether I was uh, sending it to the SSD or whether I was sending it to the Seagate hard drive. So here we go. One, two, three. Okay, so 636, a little bit slower than yesterday, but still not terrible. All right, so now that we've run both of these benchmarks uh, on the 970, let's uh, reboot the machine, rip out the 970 card, put the 740 in, turn it back on, and run these benchmarks with the 740 and see how much slower it is in the Bruce X test, which I expect to be much slower, versus the um, just straight, CPU bound rendering test, which I expect to, to come in pretty close to 636. So we'll, we'll see if I'm right or not. Testing, okay. We got our audio back, so uh, sorry about all that garbage. I, you know, every time you reboot into a new new graphics card, you get a couple of things to tweak. Okay, so uh, let's confirm that we're actually using the NVIDIA drivers here. We are. Let's confirm that we're using a 740, GTX 740. All right, great. So let's run some uh, some benchmarks here. First test that we'll run will be the Bruce X test. And I just, I'm curious, I want to see if uh, the GTX 740 performs significantly worse with the Bruce X test. All right, so I think last time when we ran this with the GTX 970, we clocked in at about uh, one minute and 10 seconds on the Bruce X. So uh, with the GTX 740, we should be slower than that because it has worse uh, open open CL performance. All right, one, two, three. You can see the processor is mostly utilized. The memory is mostly utilized. It's flogging that CPU or that GPU pretty hard. So we're past the point where the 970 completed the test, one minute and 10 seconds. Okay, so three minutes and 19 seconds or 20 seconds, somewhere in there for the Bruce X tax test with the GTX 740. Uh, so that is significantly slower than the GTX 970. 
Uh, we got about a minute and 10 seconds with the GTX 970, three minutes and 20 seconds with the 740. So you're definitely going to be losing some time if you've got a lot of transitions in your project. Um, but, you know, it's not like 10 minutes long or anything. Uh, it's, it's not horrible. Again, probably the onboard chipset with, that comes with the uh, 4790K processor is uh, comparable to the GTX 740. So if, if I were you, I would just not buy the GTX 740 if, uh, if that's all you can afford. I would just use the onboard video. Okay, next up, I'm going to do a benchmark a more practical benchmark using the GTX 740 to just render out some regular clips. So this is going to be like a, a more practical test. This is this is kind of how I normally edit. I don't I don't use a lot of transitions. I just uh, I just use a bunch of jump cuts and um, stuff like that. Okay, so uh, we're using the GTX 740 to do what I believe is a, a mostly processor, you know, CPU, not GPU, CPU intensive task, which is just rendering out a regular 1080p, you know, clip. Uh, so no, no GPU transitions or anything like that taking place. Uh, with the 970, we got about six minutes and 36 seconds. Uh, so I expect to see something similar with the GTX 740. And one, two, three, So we can see here that the uh, Final Cut Pro is chewing up 420% CPU, and it's really not using the uh, GPU processor or memory very much at all, which is pretty much what I expected. Okay, that's it. So 643 for the GTX 740. For the GTX 970, I think we were getting 636. I've seen it down to like 631 or 611. Um, so you're losing a little bit of performance, but in this case, it was like less than 20 seconds, right? So is that significant? I, I don't think so. I mean, you know, even if you're doing a project that's like an hour long, you're probably only adding minutes to your project, not hours for the export. So uh, I just, I don't, I don't think that you need a massive GPU if all you do is uh, jump cuts and uh, you know retimes and things like that, like I do. If you use a lot of transitions, then yeah, buy yourself the biggest, baddest GPU that you can find because you'll you'll get a little bit of benefit out of it while you're editing. Otherwise, I would focus on buying the biggest, baddest CPU you can you can cram into a into a machine and still have it be Hackintosh compatible. Okay. This is Jesse with Create This. I hope you found this useful or informative. If you have any comment, if you'd like to correct me on anything, you know, I'm not infallible, I'm just a hobbyist. Uh, these are my findings. They're not necessarily the best, the best way to do anything. So if you know something that I don't know or you just wanna ask a question, please leave us a comment down below in the, uh, in the comments section. If you're curious about the previous build video where we did the assembly and we listed out all of the parts, uh, check out part one of this Hackintosh build series. I've got the link down below in the description. Also, you can you know, click through to the Amazon pages and buy all of those parts. So if you're, if you're curious, there's no need to type, just click through. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.